ticket, sir. We cast off in 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Oh, very good. Uh, let's see. My ticket. Uh -huh. My baggage thing. Uh -huh. Very good, Mr. Johnson. I'll see that your bags are stowed. Is Mrs. Johnson aboard? Uh, no, but I expect her closer to departure time. Yes, sir. Have a pleasant voyage. Thank you very much. Uh, retirement had slowed the two of you down, but I see you're right on the money as usual. We've never missed the rendezvous yet. Oh, it's wonderful to see you. You too, Alan. Wait, what, what names are you using this trip? Would you believe our real ones? Yes, we're out of the spy game. No secret identities required. Unless, of course, you want them for this job. What exactly are we supposed to do on this mission? We are going to show a great lady a good time. Thanks for coming. Is everything okay? Yeah, fine, fine. I just want to know, um, if I go away for, uh, well, a little mission with Luke, do you think you could stay with Lulu for a while? Uh, <laughs> oh, what kind of mission? I don't know exactly. For how long? It's a few days, according to Luke. Um, okay, I'm, I'm a little confused. Wasn't that you just a couple of days ago who was saying to me how happy you were and how much you were enjoying the peace and quiet? Uh-huh, yeah, that was me. And, and how, how full your life is. You have your company, you have your children, and that's really all you need? I know. I guess, you know, it just got a little too peaceful and quiet for me. I don't... It's hard to understand. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. Uh, why not? Okay. Understandable. We'll look at the last few months. We see all that danger. We see all that pressure. You probably just haven't given yourself enough time to, you know, kind of readjust. Yeah, sure, that's part of it. Yeah, but, 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 big important but. There's a big difference between, you know, wanting to spark up your life a little bit and going off on a mission with Luke. It's just that he said he really, really needed my help. Yeah, well, I, I love Luke. You know, I love Luke, but I'm a little more concerned with what you need right now. You don't think I should go? <laughs> I think we're way past the point where I get to tell you what to do. It's, it's not because of the danger, is it? No, no. Um, yeah, sure. No, well, not... It's not the physical danger. I'm really concerned about the risk you'd be taking with your heart. I, you'd be off on a mission with Luke. And, and you're probably visualizing um, romantic adventures like you used to have when it was just you and Luke and you were depending only upon each other, but this is now and you've just separated your lives. I am aware of all of that, Mother. And, and I don't want to see you setting yourself up for a huge disappointment. I don't want to see you get hurt. I'm um, sorry. Um, okay. Okay. Um, taking care of Lulu, we understand, not an issue, so... Uh, if you tell me that this is what you honestly feel is the very best thing for you, then I will support you on this. And if you tell me that what you really want is to just stay put and, and leave things as they are peacefully, then I'll be right there behind you on that. You're not helping me at all. Yeah, well, I could give you advice. I could, you know, try to make sure that you consider all of the consequences, but bottom line, baby, this is about you. What do you want? appreciate the two of you jumping in like this at the last moment. Well, you sent us tickets to a cruise. And offered an adventure. 
Risk free. Mm -hmm. How could we say no? Well, besides, we, we miss undercover ops. Not that we'd want to go back to it as a career, mind you. But a weekend caper here or there keeps things interesting. Right, Danny? Hopefully the lady will feel the same way. I take it you're referring to your wife. What was her name? Laura? Uh, yes, Laura. Actually, my ex-wife at the moment. We broke up for reasons... Well, a lot of them I can do nothing about, but the one thing that we had that we're still good at is that we are terrific together out on the edge. We can improvise with the best of them. We can jump out blind and just trust the other will land safely. We're... We're going to remind her of that. How? Well, think of it as a Hitchcock movie with the two viewers of the villains. DVA? KGB? SIS? Perfect. Whatever suits your fancy. Vince, you're the agent. You've brought Ellen along as a cover. You're on this ship to pass off a stolen microship to somebody. While well, you keep us under surveillance with the assistance of Laura. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if we're strolling under the stars, you and Laura will be behind us, hand in hand. And if we're dancing, you'll be dancing next to us. And if Laura just happens to enjoy being in your arms, so much the better. God, am I that transparent? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Do you think you can get behind it? Oh, without a doubt. But I think you've overlooked a serious problem. What could go wrong? I've arranged everything. A romantic cruise under Caribbean skies. A deluxe accommodations, complete with sinister foreign agents, played by two of the best ex-spies in the business. What possibly could be the problem? Well, speaking for myself, I don't like being lied to, particularly by Vince. But you're spies and you're married. How can you not lie to each other? Why do you think we retired? So we wouldn't have to. Mm. But I'm simply pointing out that I don't think that Laura will appreciate being deceived by her own husband. Oh, I'm sorry, ex-husband. That is precisely why she must never know. Look, we're all professionals. Let's just play it by the book. Treat it like a real caper. Make us work to get back that microchip. The only difference here is that we don't have to worry about being shot. You're picking up the town. We'll play this any way you like. Now, well, that's an attitude I can appreciate, so let's go to work. Make me believe you're about to sell out the free world. Our pleasure. Good luck, Luke. I hope it turns out the way you want. Me too. Thank <laughs> you.